Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and today the Church honors St. Catherine of Siena, who along with St. Teresa of Avila was named the first female doctor of the Church. She was born in 1347, the youngest of 25 children. Early on, she was drawn to prayer and was gifted with visions, the first of which occurred when Jesus appeared to her at the age of six. She became a lay Dominican and devoted herself to prayer and works of charity. But God called her to help solve a great crisis in the church. At the time, the Pope, the Bishop of Rome, didn't live there in Rome, but in Avignon, France, and Catherine prevailed upon him to return to Rome. Then, a terrible division occurred when two different popes were elected. After a meeting with Catherine and his cardinal advisors, Pope Urban VI exclaimed, What has the Vicar of Jesus Christ to fear, even if the whole world were to oppose him? Christ is more powerful than the world, and it is not possible that he will abandon his church. In the end, Catherine offered her life as a sacrifice for the healing of the church, and she died at the age of 33. You may not be a mystic like St. Catherine, but you are called to a deeper prayer life. And like her, you're also called to offer yourself, as St. Paul put it in his letter to the Romans, as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. You can do that in your own words or through the morning offering prayer. In that prayer, we offer ourselves for the intentions of Jesus' heart, one of which is something that was dear to St. Catherine, the unity of the church.